Thank you very much for your comments about community radio and alternative media. Uh, my question is, in the 60s and 70s, Canada was the recipient of 30 to 60,000 Vietnam War resistors, and they provided an influx of progressive thought that seriously helped Canada uh, shape its future. Now with the Iraq War, the House of Canadian Parliament passed an uh, ordinance saying that we should accept Iraqi war resistors in Canada. However, it was a non-binding resolution and the Canadian government refuses to accept Iraqi war resistors. Question. What do you think we should do to get our government to accept Iraqi war resistors in Canada? Are you asking, uh, given the fact that the Canadian government, through the actions of the Prime Minister, uh, has not uh, accepted the, the, these war resistors from the United States, are you asking what should we do to, uh, to change that? Is that yeah. the question? Yeah. Yeah. That's part of the question, yes. Now, what is it fair, Pascal? Well, I, you know, it's, uh, it's going to take a, a lot of civil disobedience. It'll, it'll be like uh, what the Americans did in the 1850s when Congress passed the Fugitive Slave Act uh, requiring slaves to be sent back to their masters. And, uh, and it's, you know, very complicated. And what happened? We had citizens organized to rescue these slaves, to refuse to allow the authorities to take them back. And so we will have to uh, organize citizens' actions to protect and defend and give sanctuary uh, to these GIs who come here. Uh, that will take violating the law, that will take organization and mass action. It will, will even if it fails and even if the police come in and, and don't allow the rescue to take place, it will bring dramatic attention to the situation and maybe then arouse uh, enough Canadian citizens uh, to join the movement uh, for defense and sanctuary so as to change the policy. Thank you. Thank you.